Hey guys, I know there's some of you that um, follow Bobby's progress with his haemophilia. So I wanted to do a quick Bobby update, if you like. So rewind to last Thursday. So plan is, we're gonna get our Bobby back. We're gonna clear up this mess and get his bag packed, drop Sonny off at my sister's, go to the hospital, and I'll film more when I'm there. Just getting our Bobby ready for his um, hospital appointment. This is his most recent significant bruise, as you can see. It's, um, it's quite hard and lumpy. <laughs> Isn't it, mate? It doesn't seem to be giving him much trouble, to be fair, at the moment. Um, and then you can see on his legs, he's got just dotted bruises all down. Hey, because they started bruising, haven't you, mate? Mm, now you're getting all active and hitting yourself with toys and and whatnot. Um, so, hopefully when he starts on his treatment, this will stop. I'm going to dress him in this little cute outfit that I recently got from um, Zara. Little knitted two-piece hoodie. Um, and I've got these little trainers for him as well, which are super cute. These were in the sale. These were £25.60 or something like that. So, bargain. Uh, I was thinking it was going to be warm today. Um, I was thinking it might be too warm to wear the wool outfit. But when he has his blood done, it's better that he's warm because it's easy for them to find his veins. So, I thought, well... We'll pop that on today because it might help. Because um, obviously finding veins in this little man's arms and legs can be quite trialling. My little haemophilia hero. So just in case you've not watched one of my videos before, Bobby has got severe haemophilia, which is a lifelong condition. Um, which basically means he's, because he's got it severe, he has less than 1% clotting factor in his blood. Um, which basically means that he bruises very, very easily and he is susceptible to it bleeds inside his joints and muscles. Um, so going to Alder Hay today to start his treatment, which is a prophylaxis treatment. So it's basically a preventative that should stop some of these bleeds internally occurring and obviously minimise the bruising as well. Well, that's what we hope, isn't it, darling? Hey. So, we are ready to go to the hospital. So we're just getting out the door, aren't we, Sunny? Right, have you got everything, Sunny? I'm going to Jemma's first. You're going on to Jemma's first. Let Mummy get the door. Oh. Lovely day. Lovely day, Sunny, isn't it? Hey. So we managed to, we're all in the car, Bobby's not too happy, we're going to get our Sonny, you alright Sonny? Yeah. You're alright aren't you mate? <sighs> so here goes. I know I look like Harry Potter with my new glasses on. Harry Potter. Bye, Bye darling. See you later. See you later. We just arrived at Alder Hay Hospital um, and on the way into the car park the um, the barriers were up. So I assume that's because they don't want to pass germs using the coin system that they usually use. Um, albeit it's a very quiet car park. The roads were eerily quiet on the way here. In fact I'm like 25 minutes early for my appointment. Well for Bobby's appointment um because obviously the roads are so quiet with what's going on so now i've arrived in the car park they said when i arrive i've got to ring them um and then they will confirm if the room is free for me to enter the hospital and um, so i'm guessing that they're just trying to minimize as much contact as possible so i'm giving them a quick call now Hi Nikki, it's Becky. I've arrived in the car park. I am a bit early. <laughs> okay, 
Brilliant. See you shortly. Bye. Bye. Okay, so there's no one else in the room with her at the moment, so I can crack on, get Bobby out of the car and take him up. Here it goes. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. So, that's us just coming out of the treatment room. It is 12 o'clock, so we've been in there for an hour. Well, in fact, I got here at, and at half an hour early, so we've been in there for... Oh, it's a bit bright, mate. Been in there for an hour and a half. Um, obviously... He's had his blood to talk, that was a little bit distressing, but, um, and then he's had his first treatment. Haven't you, mate? So we've got to go back in a week's time, um, and then in five weeks he'll have his blood taken. To see if his factor levels have increased. You alright, Bob? Hey? I'm sorry you had to go through that, mate. You brave little boy, wasn't you, mate? Hey? Oh, poked and podded, poked and prodded, Round but he's door. just going to be just fine. Door opening. Hospital is eerily quiet because all, all clinics have been cancelled. So everything went as well as it could have done today, I suppose. Um, but it's never nice taking blood from a baby and um, giving them injections but he's a brave little soul a little cry at the time but he soon settled down um it was really eerie in the hospital because it was really quiet all the clinics were closed and all the staff apparently from those clinics are being retrained and put onto the wards um and obviously it's a children's hospital but they're going to be accepting people up to 30 years of age for corona so i believe so yeah really puts things into perspective um so he's had his first loading dose of his Emmy sees above. I'm just going to call it Emmy because I can't pronounce it properly. <laughs> so he's had his first um, Emmy injection today. So he's going to have five more loading doses and then um, we should reduce the amount that he has then. I should be able to administer the injections by then. So that's the plan. What's up with you today? A bit grouchy, obviously. Had his, had his needles and his blood's done yesterday. Um, so hopefully he haven't caused too much bruising on his legs and his arms, but we'll see in a couple of days, I suppose. <laughs>